Hey everybody, Kevin here, WQ9F. Thanks for joining me today for another video here on WQ9F Ham Radio, where we talk about ham radio gear, news, reviews, and most importantly, getting on the air. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We hit 150 subscribers recently, which is really awesome. You know, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, the, uh, the fact that I get to share my videos with all of you out there uh, means a lot to me. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, once we hit 250 subscribers, we have a giveaway planned, so um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and keep your, keep your eyes open for that. If you have any comments on this video, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I love reading the comments from everybody as well, suggestions, and uh, you know, let me know if there's anything you want to see in future videos. So today we are out here for uh, Parks on the Air activation. We are at James Pate Phillips State Park in northeastern Illinois. This park is located in between uh, DuPage County and Kane County. Uh, it's about 3,300 acres. Um, and honestly, if you look out here, you might see like, well, why is this even a park? You know, there's not much here. Actually behind me, you can see the high tension power lines going, stretching for miles and miles. Um, if you go on the Illinois Department of Natural Resources website, they actually they actually say on the beginning part of the description of this park as why would, why would we even make this a park? Um, so this park was dedicated in 1991. Um, it was made part of the uh, the forest preserve system as well as a state park system, and it's part of the Illinois Wetland Reserves. Now there is a creek that stretch that goes through the uh, through part of this, and a lot of this land out here at one time was farmland and industrial land, um, and you know it didn't really serve much too much of a purpose. And now they're trying to restore that as part of this 3,000 acre park system. Now as far as things to do with the park. They do have a nature center and welcome center. This park hosts the Illinois Department of Natural Resources Region 2 office. Uh, turn around behind me here. They do have a small picnic area with a little shelter. The, uh, the visitor center that's here on the grounds has a uh, nature center in it as well. So, and then they list activities on the Department of Natural Resources website as uh, hunting, fishing, uh, cross country skiing, hiking, bike riding, etc. Uh, I think there's a there's like a four and a half mile trail that goes around this park, so so there are some things to do. Now, as far as our activation today, we're uh, we're gonna experiment. We're gonna see if this actually works. So, if you've seen my other videos, we're back out here today. We have our ham stick stuck to the roof. This is our 20 meter ham stick that we've been messing around with. Now, we had this hooked to the 7300 the other day. Did a little bit of experimenting and testing to see um, if this would work. And putting our antenna on the roof got our antenna down to a normal uh, SWR using our 7300. So while we're out here today, we are going to be using the FT100. So if you check out, if you've seen my other videos, this is a radio I picked up on eBay recently. And in this, for this radio, this was a, is it worth it to buy used stuff on, on the internet? And uh, I'm still undecided. So we're gonna give this radio a little test today. Now, if, um, if you see the link for the other video up here, um, that I did we we when we got this we noticed a couple things one it was marketed as the FT 100 D it's not um, it came with a broken microphone I am using a microphone from uh, my Yezu FTM 100 which is a uh, C4 FM dual band uh, mobile radio this radio radio also has problems on six meters there's no output on six meters um, since it is the 100 and not the D, there me that means there is no TCXO. There it has the smaller speaker. It doesn't have the CW filter built in, um, or the CTCSS tone board. So even though this radio does VHF and UHF, um, we we can't we can only use it for simplex. There's no repeater function on this. Now I did uh, I did contact the person that I purchased it from and they agreed to take some money off of it. So they actually gave me a $100 refund on this. So we paid $375 for it originally um, with our partial refund because we do need to do some work to this radio here. Um, 
we've got this radio now for $275. So let's see if a $275 radio uh, is gonna work out for us. CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air. This is Whiskey, Quebec, 9 Foxtrot calling CQ Parks on the air, Park Kilo 1001. Whiskey Delta 5, Charlie Sierra Kilo. Whiskey Delta 5, Charlie Sierra Kilo. I've got you at a 5-5 five five in Illinois. Thank you for the 5-5. Five five. You're also 55, Oklahoma. Thank you. Thank you, and have a good one. QRZ, Whiskey, Quebec, 9 Fox, try to park Kilo 1001. Is the frequency in use? This is Alpha Echo 8 Oscar. This is Whiskey, Quebec, 9 Fox, try currently using the frequency copy. CQ20, 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 calling CQ, hello CQ. Hello CQ20, calling CQ. CQ Parks on the air, this is Whiskey Quebec, 9 Fox, try to park Kilo 1001. That Kilo Delta 4, Juliet Oscar? Does the 4 Juliet Oscar come again? Yeah, Kilowatt Delta 4 Juliet Oscar. You kind of disappeared into the noise, Kevin. Over. Copy, copy. I've got you at a 55, 55. Yeah, roger, roger. You're also 55 five in Baltimore, Maryland. The name is Russ. Romeo Uniform is here on Kevin. Over. Copy, copy. Uh, thanks for the contact today. 7-3, QRZ, Whiskey, Quebec, 9, Fox, Trout, Park, Kilo, 1001. November Delta, 1, Juliet. November Delta, 1, Juliet, 57 in Illinois. Thank you for the 57 Illinois and for the new park in year 54, 54 in Georgia, 54, Georgia. Thanks for the 54, Georgia. Have a good one in 7-3, QRZ, Whiskey, Quebec, 9, Fox, Trout. November Charlie 4, X-Ray Lima, I've got you at a 33-33. November Charlie 4, X-Ray Lima, again, again. Copy, copy, you got a signal report? I've got you at a 33-33-33. Copy, copy. I'm at 1001. 1001. Copy, copy. QSL, QSL. Thanks and uh, stay safe. 7373. Seven, Seven three QRZ Whiskey Quebec nine Fox Trout Park Kilo one zero zero one. All right, so a few things. One, we made some contacts at least. Uh, I got four in the log. We're gonna call it here because uh, my SWR light just came on on the radio, and I was doing some reading, and the SWR light comes on on this radio when you hit a seven to one SWR, which is not good. So it looks like we might still have a little bit of work to do figuring out SWR on this. Um, it doesn't help that. There's a you need an Allen wrench to um, to adjust the uh, the whip length, so I could probably get this working better. But I forgot my tools at home. Uh, my bag of stuff that I've had in my other videos that is almost always in the back um, is not. So I took that out to do work on my D I took that out to do work on my DX Commander uh, Expedition at home, and I didn't put it back in. And now my SWR is high. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's been high because I've been hearing relays clicking in the radio, which is not a good sign usually. Um, 
and so we're gonna call it before I before I damage this radio so we didn't activate the park today uh, before we started having antenna problems um, we got three contacts plus a uh, two for park the parks we got a couple park the parks at least um, now here's the thing in parks on the air that doesn't count as a successful activation but the people that contacted me they still get credit all right these still count as contacts um, it's just not a successful park activation, which is fine. Unfortunately, that's our first unsuccessful park activation. Now, I thought about bringing another, I thought about bringing my 7300 with, um, I thought about bringing other antennas, but this is kinda, I wanted to experiment with this because I kinda want this to be my go-to parks on the air setup, um, but I don't think it's quite there yet. So I think we're gonna have to make a part two of our experimenting with our hamstick video and maybe once we have the right tools we can do that uh, i also need to figure out the uh how to work the swr meter on this radio it's supposed to have a built-in swr meter and uh reading through the the owner's manual it says if you click on the meter function it's supposed to switch between alc and swr but it seems like it's just giving me power output now i don't know if that's accurate but um, if it is, you know, well, who knows? We'll see. Unfortunately, we did not have a successful activation today, but we learned a lot of things. If you have any suggestions down below in the comments about um, what I can do better, because I'm not having a great time with Parks on the Air recent, uh, those these last couple times, um, let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate it. If you haven't done so, make sure you like this video. If you like it, add a comment. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos by me. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, have a great day, everybody. 7-3.